Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath! Worship is vital to the Christian experience, and Christian education must deal with the question of worship. Please stay with us as we reflect on this week's lesson entitled, Worship in Education. The memory text is taken from 1 Chronicles 16, verse 29. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Sabbath afternoon. Worship is part of humanity, part of human nature, even fallen human nature. Although the innate need to worship still exists in us, it, like everything else in this world, has been twisted and distorted by sin, which means that among other things we, as worshipping beings, can end up worshipping the wrong things, or even end up not worshipping the Lord in the way that he is supposed to be worshipped. Sunday, we all worship something. There's something in us that longs to worship. This helps explain why all through human history, and even today, humans practice worship. The three Jewish boys obviously took the second commandment as seriously as God had meant it to be taken. Proper worship is so important that it becomes central to the issues in the last days, before the second coming of Christ. Monday, and declare them to their children. There is a certain determination about the message of Psalm 78. In verse 2, Aesop mentions how we will share the dark sayings of old. The word dark does not mean ominous, but rather dim or fading, as history can become when its crucial events go back in time. The point here is that whatever else the education of Israel included, It included teaching the children the stories about the Lord's dealing with the chosen nation. Tuesday, in spirit and in truth. True worship of the Lord must be in spirit, that is, it must stem from the experience of knowing Him personally. At the same time, worship must be in truth. We must have some correct knowledge of God, of who He is, and what He requires of us. Thus, we see here two elements in worship, the experience that comes from knowing and obeying God and the objective truths revealed to us about God. Wednesday, the beauty of holiness. For starters, think about how ugly, how damaging, how degrading sin is. In contrast, ancient Israel was to be a holy nation separated from the evil customs all around them. They were to be holy in their hearts and minds. This is what gave their worship meaning and beauty before God. Again and again, the Old Testament prophets railed against people who worshiped the Lord while engaging in corruption and while their hearts were far from Him. Thursday, Idolatry in Education Many of the great intellectual ideas in the world today are based on a naturalistic view of reality. Many disciplines studied in school today are studied from that perspective, which often means that what is taught will be contradictory to scripture. However, the only way that can be done is compromise the faith, which often means twisting and distorting the scriptures in order to try to make scripture fit with current ideas. Friday. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. When those sins which God hates are subdued, Jesus will come in and sup with you and you with him. It would be more pleasing to the Lord if lukewarm professors of religion had never named his name. They are stumbling blocks to unbelievers an evil angel exalt over them and turn the angels of God with their crooked course. They draw nigh to God with their lips while their heart is far from Him. Have a happy Sabbath!